From a misty mountainside in Japan's Ia Valley, this is Paul Kato with the Chiyori Update. After a long winter break in Kyoto, with a trip back to Georgia to see the family, I'm happy to be reporting back in the valley. A flock of new visitors flew in on the stiff March breeze and helped me to warm the house back up. Alex was here, too, consulting with Niyoshi City on abandoned house renovation in Ochii. I was shocked at how run down the house they were going to renovate looked, but then Alex reminded me that Chiori didn't look much better when he found it, and she looks great now. Meanwhile, online, we got the new Chiori website up and running. The site has been completely redesigned by our own Toru Muromatsu, with lots of info, photos, and sketches. Those sketches are by Toru too. Now, let's take a closer look at the site. The homepage has a new logo, featuring the Mon seal from the large curtain hanging against our back wall. There's also a current news box with regularly updated information. The About Chiori section tells the history of the house and the people who helped maintain it. The Trust section gets you up to date on our nonprofit's activities and introduces our directors, staff, and volunteers. The renovation page is for people interested in our restoration efforts, while the About Ia section tells you the history and culture of the surrounding valley. We also have a great new visit section, with all the info you need to plan your next trip to see me. But I won't be the only one you'll find living under the thatched roof. I've been joined by Takashi Hirose, the first of our on-site volunteers for this year. Takashi is an Osaka native and an artist, making and selling ceramics and glass jewelry in the U.S. and Japan. He's also a whiz in the garden, in the kitchen, and behind the camera. He's more qualified for my job than I am, but don't tell that to Alex. Takashi's going to be volunteering at Chiori on and off throughout the year, but we're looking for more help around the house and garden. So if you're interested in applying as a volunteer, please contact me at eInfo at chiori.org. Well, that's it for this week. See you next time on the Chiori Update.